Hey guys, I'm Rob. Uh, some of you may know me as the Machinist Dude over on Instagram. If not, head over there, make sure you give me a follow. Uh, I've been asked to team up with Practical Machinist and do a few short videos for their YouTube page. Uh, but before I forget, make sure to like and subscribe their page and make sure you leave a comment so that we know what you'd like to see more of. Uh, I've been looking at Practical Machinist forums to find a subject to chat about and there's, there's just so many that I can't really choose one. So what I thought I'd do for the first video is just share an interesting little job on current machining, kind of explain what I'm doing and why, what sort of cutters I'm using uh, and the reasons that I chose them. Uh, so I have uh, an aluminium pot or aluminium for you American guys and gals uh, that I did in two operations, really quite a simple job. Uh, if you watch the part being machined, uh, you'll see my stock is absolutely huge. I've done this for two reasons. Reason one is our saw were busy. I didn't really want to wait. Kind of impatient like that. Uh, and reason two is I thought it'd give uh, you guys a good opportunity to see uh, adaptive tool paths in action and the uh, benefits of running material specific tooling. Uh, so on, on the job, uh, the first stop was to remove all the meat, get uh, my rough shape done. Uh, I did this with one of these, uh, it's an A plus cutter from Corley. All tooling suppliers will do material specific cutters. Uh, this is just the one that we use. As you can see, it's highly polished, uh, stop material from sticking to it. And also uh, uncoated as well, which is always best. Uh, the flutes are also a lot deeper. Uh, allows you to give a, a deeper radial cut without uh, your, your flutes bunging up with material and gives you excellent chip evacuation. 
Uh, Top off uh, was a 2D adaptive. Uh, this is fastest ray shifting material really, uh, and as you watch the part that you machine, <coughs> you can see how quickly uh, you can just get rid of stock and, and really get through. Uh, main part of this program is roughing. After that, just use same cutter to profile the outside, give it a nice shiny finish, uh, put in a couple of pockets, and then just a bit of 3D machining on the radiuses on the bike, and then that's up one done. Uh, Opto, pretty much the same story, 2D adaptive, remove all the stock, uh, and again a couple of finish cycles just to make it look nice and shiny, bring your affinity tolerance.
Right, so uh, like I said, this is uh, the first video, so I'm going to keep it pretty short. Uh, if you'd like to see more stuff, let us know in the comments what you'd like to see in the next video. And I'll do my best to give you guys what you want. Don't forget to give me a like on Instagram, The Machinist Dude. And definitely don't forget to give this channel a like and a, subscri a subscribe uh, to see more machining content. Catch you later.